It's ceiling day. We are going to be painting the farmhouse ceiling. I know you guys have been anxiously awaiting anything pretty to be done around here. I'm not shocked at how much it's changed the look, but just priming it has really affected the way it looks in here. We're going to be clipping off nails, getting a bunch of bleed through treated, and then painting it with the final coat and hopefully it looks awesome. It'll look awesome. So we were using a grinder, but it was gouging the wood. So we've gone to this hand tool. This is probably one of the most labor intensive jobs that we've done on the site thus far. I tried to do it and failed miserably. So I'm gonna leave the hard stuff to Zeb. I'm gonna go to the shop and ship some packages and photograph inventory, and then I'll come back and check on the project. So while I am getting ready to spray, Jamie- How do you get it when it's super long? You is just... clipping off nails. So you get it right up by the board squeeze on it and give it a wiggle back and forth. There you go. Wanted to show you guys this up close. We've got two coats of primer on here. I don't think I'm gonna do another coat on the whole ceiling. Most of it looks all right. Over here, we've got some water stains. They must've had some leak on this side of the house in some bygone year or you know, it's just stain from tannins in the wood, but it looks like a water stain to me. So what I'm doing is I'm using bullseye shellac. I love it. It works super great for blocking stains. We use it on furniture and things. And even though I've got the stain blocking primer on here, I've never found that it works well on tough stains. I'm just gonna put two coats of the shellac on these spots right here. I'm not gonna do full coverage. I'm just gonna hit the actual stain part and then we will go ahead and paint over that. And if we have any more bleed through, we'll just work on the spots. We're not gonna work on the whole ceiling with the shellac. All right, so the spray cans of shellac are working pretty good for the little water stain spots on the ceiling, but I've got these large beams and you can kind of see the discoloration lines where I've got the tannins in the wood coming through. The water-based primer that I sprayed on there did all right. It sealed a lot of things in, but I still have these tannins coming through. So what I'm gonna do is I've got this Zinzer Bin primer and this stuff is shellac based and it will work a lot like the shellac but because I have such a large area to do, I'm going to use the roller to roll it on. All right, so this is a Krauss & Becker airless paint sprayer. If you watched us all the way back last August or September, I can't even remember when, when we did the bathroom, we used this sprayer. And I'm just gonna prime it. So it's got a little nozzle. You just press it down over here and you flip the switch on and then you, there's a little arrow right here. And just turn that to prime. So this is water over here. It's just a little milky because I rinsed off my paint stirrer, but 
I'm gonna prime it first with water and then I'll put it in the paint once the pump's primed. Okay, and that primes up pretty quick. It doesn't take much, it's got a good little pump on it. I've got it elevated on these other two five gallon buckets so that it goes right down into this five gallon bucket really nice and easy. All right, next step, I'm gonna turn this to the sprayer nozzle, and I just put it on max spray because I've got a lot to do. And then I'm gonna flip this switch over here on this side. Then you pull this arrow from the prime down position up to the spray position, and you're ready to go. I'm gonna start over here with this worst section that needs the most attention with the shellac and see how it goes. That way I know if it's pulling through because I should know within a couple of minutes of it drying if it's gonna pull through or not. And then I'll keep moving on along. If it does pull through, if the stain comes through the paint coat, what I'll do is I'll put more shellac on that spot and then repaint again. All right, I realize at this point, it looks like I'm just painting white over the top of white, which technically I am because the primer was a nice bright white color, but it is a little bit yellowy. The camera's just not picking it up very well. So when I'm actually looking at it in the room, you can see kind of this yellowish tint that came through from the tannins in the wood. And now that I've primed it with the Zinsser shellac, it's all going away and it's a nice bright crisp white. The water stains are really bad in this section and two coats of the shellac work like a charm. All right, so Jack's my little junior assistant today in my studio, because this is kind of our private area that basically just family goes in. Every day we have a different kid working, huh? That way you guys get to see mom while mom's super busy. What color are you using? Blue. Blue. Light blue. It's called Farm Fresh. Farm Fresh. You need a little bit more paint on your brush, but you're doing a good job of keeping this, the correct direction because you only paint in one direction, huh? Yeah. And make sure you don't get drips. Good job. Keep it up. Yeah. As soon as you're done with that, we'll distress it and wax it, and then you can help me take a picture for the website? Yep. All right. All right, so what are you doing on that, Jack? I am painting like a wooden little palace lady and it's like I'm painting it this light blue color. It's apothecary. Pa apothecary. What did mom tell you? Chippy? Chippy, not drippy. Chippy, not drippy. That's right. It's okay if it looks chippy. You just don't want it to be drippy. So while I was busy at the shop helping Jack and getting things shipped, Zeb did a really good job. I think we probably have one more day of like nitpicking and getting all the bleed through taken care of, but then the ceiling is going to be done, right? Yeah, mostly. I mean, I'm gonna have to get up there and probably patch a few pieces here and, and do some Bondo work here and there where like the wood just won't conform to what I want it to do. But for the most part, it looks like a white ceiling of a I farmhouse. Every time people complain like, oh, my white's bleeding through, I'm like, I get that because that's just the nature of painting white. Would have been much easier to spray an oil-based uh, sealer on it, but we didn't have a pump that did that. So we just made do with what we have. And when we get to doing the walls and the floor and all that kind of stuff, I guess we'll just roll it on. And I probably could have sprayed an oil-based stain blocker on the ceiling, but to clean the spray gun out afterwards is like an hour or two hour process. And I didn't want to deal with that. Thanks for following along with us as we work on the farmhouse. Make sure you're hitting up jamierayvintage.com for all your paint and products. And if you want to see the things that we are doing that are unique, that the kids are helping me paint, and the home decor I love, visit jamierayvintagehome.com. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe to Jamie Ray Vintage for more DIY.